Hello and welcome. My name is Amul and you are watching TubePaint. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add meta tag to your Shopify store in 2024. Okay, so depending on your um, theme, and this is going to be the same, okay, on every theme because they all the themes have to follow uh, OS 2.0 architecture and certain files needs to be there in every theme. So don't worry if you're using a different theme. I'm going to use the Dawn theme, which is basically the uh, default theme on Shopify stores when you create a new store. So there are two ways to add, basically three uh, ways to add meta tags. The very first one is you can use code editor and you can add meta tag yourself the second one is you can install apps and then uh, manage your tags right there in the app and then you'll have to pay certain dollars every month but this is going to be completely free you can simply log into your Shopify admin and then go to edit code and so you are going to look for theme dot liquid okay and this is going to be there okay and let me quickly go ahead and increase the font size so you can see it also okay so you are going to see now you can also go to um, if you are on customized theme you can right click uh, sorry click on the dots and go to edit theme edit theme Sorry, edit code. Okay, so you already see this is how you can add meta tags. Okay, meta tags. These are meta tags. Okay, this is a meta tag. So you can simply get into this head section of the liquid. Uh, sorry, theme dot liquid, which is going to be under layouts. Okay, let me quickly remove this one, and then you will have to save it. Just put your meta tag here and save it. This is going to be available on every template. Okay, when I say template, so this is what I mean. So these are all the templates. If you don't know, let me show you all the common templates available, default templates. So these are all templates. This is home page, product. You can select one template and customize from here this is products template collection collection lists um, pages blogs and blog post you can get more templates these are all our templates but we are going to look at uh, the product and then page uh, article and then blog post, blogs okay so basically what you do let's say you want to put meta tag on that is going to be available on every template so you let's say you want to verify your store on Facebook or you want to add some code from your um, let's say Google search console so you'll have to put your meta tag right in here and this is going to be available on every template and every page of your store but the other case could be you want to make sure your tag is meta tag is only available on product templates so you are going to say if so you simply can copy any of these if blocks which I can show you so there might be already this I've just written to uh, make sure that I can give you another example to target a certain template okay so you can simply say if template equals equals to product you can simply say page article or you can say blog okay but in this case I'm going to say product now this is going to be singular not plural okay so template equals equals to if template equals equals to product you can simply write your uh, 
meta tag and then end it or you can write your meta tags in this meta tags uh, what do you call it snippet and this is already been rendered he rendered here so you won't have to worry about it so this is this is where you got all the meta tags so you can create your own snippet a liquid file under snippet and put your, put your meta tag here like you can see this is uh, Facebook's meta tag that is going to be rendered on uh, different pages you can see if request dot page type now that was a very old uh, liquid tag that I used there but I can replace with this one uh, like this okay so this is going to be very specific the latest way so you can request dot page type is equal to product you can render this one okay so we were in the snippet meta meta tags snippet okay so these are like this is a product price it's not going to be available on let's say article or a page you can see it says uh, request dot product type is the uh, what is this article it's uh, og type is going to be article if it's a page type password request origin so this is how you can add your meta tags to your shopify stores uh, globally and on a specific template as well thank you so much for watching if you have any questions suggestions leave in the comment don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.